Welcome to our tutorial of Quick Surface Freeform. So you have your software installed, you activate it, and now you want to use it. The first thing you can do is actually open a file. The file formats which uh, Quick Surface supports is uh, STL meshes and also OBJ. There are some other formats which are not relevant at the moment, but this, uh, STL and OBJs are really common file formats, so most of the uh, scanners export in this uh, file format and it represents um, scan data as a main. So you should have uh, this uh, example file. There is a link on our website so you can download it and then you press open. When you try to open an STL file because there is no information about the units, how big the file is, the software gives you a choice how uh, to define your units. By default, the units of quick surface are millimeters. We support a different units, which the most common are inches and meters. So this should be enough for you to work with your scan data. When you're ready, you press OK. So now you see the object on the screen. This is the main area and you can place the view, um, the object into different views like font view, top view, etc. Also, you can manipulate and rotate the object on the screen. But if there are different defaults of how to manipulate the, with the mouse. But for you, if you want to adjust this, you can just select settings and options. Now you can choose from default to SOLIDWORKS, Fusion and other type of uh, software. You can also reverse the zoom direction if you use the mouse wheel. And you can also play with the colors and adjust your background into uh, uh, different colors and make this uh, comfortable for your needs. I'll put this to default now. So I can just rotate with the right mouse button, I can move the object with the middle button and using the mouse wheel I can zoom in and see a little bit more details. On the left here we will have our object created such as uh, freeform surfaces, you can create a couple of them and you can merge them, etc. So what we should do first, of course we want to convert this immediately into CAD model. So the best way to do is to use our state-of-the-art auto surface. It's located on the toolbar. You just press it and the software is um, ready to go. There are some parameters here such as what target, how many quotes we want to get here, how dense the result should be and also how complicated is the, the object. In this case, we, we, we have a couple of choices like a low. This is when you have a, something like a mechanical part with a, a freeform surface or in this case it's balanced. I personally always use the normal balanced. And if the scan has um, some kind of symmetry, in this case it's uh, only scan half, but if it has a, on the other side, you have an option to select uh, the symmetry plane and then the result will be absolutely symmetric. And when you're ready, you just press preview. The software gets uh, prepared, it processes the data and this is your first result. Nice and smooth, uh, following the shape of the object. In order to see how close you are to the expectations, there is an option here which is called tolerance display. You can turn this on and see how close you are to the surface. Although now we have a good uh, flow of the surface, still we probably need to increase the resolution here. But this is our leave for you to play. You can play with the different uh, target number of quotes and with the different feature details. When you're ready, you can press OK. So now the good thing is that this is a fully editable uh, quote surface. So I will just select from the object tree and you can press the edit button or you can right click and press edit or you just double click on it. I will just enter in edit mode now. There are a couple of um, options here which you can use in, in the future and with the, our next tutorials we can teach you how to use them. 
but for now I want to demonstrate our capabilities with symmetry. If you choose uh, that you want uh, your object to be symmetrical, as you see, we defined um, our um, uh, mirrored object of this bottom plane. But as you see now, it's, they are not connected. So the best way to do is you just highlight your edge, double click, and this will select the whole um, chain of edges. And then you can just set them on a symmetry plane. You can always just press spacebar to see the results and this is our first closed solid body. When you are happy with your results you can just press export model. There are a couple of file formats which we support and uh, major for the surfaces are step and IGES but also we offer the ability to um, export the surfaces as an STL file if you want to um, use them directly for printing and you don't need to put them in any other cut packages or if you want to put them in another cut package to apply a different operation you can export it as a step file you just press save and it will be saved on the disk then you can use your favorite um, cut uh, modeling package, you can open these step files and you can process them further. I hope this video was useful, thank you for watching.